Hello, welcome to Operation 700 Vlog number 10. In today's video, we're going to be covering week 10 of the program, which is also the end of block 2. Okay, so we'll just, as per usual, um, you'll see on the screen here, we've got to the left, we have the program, and to the right, we have the videos. So the usual format on this, if you're new to Operation 700, or you're new to the Vlog series, what we tend to do is we just have a look through what I've done this week programming wise, discuss it within the larger context of the program, maybe have a bit of a discussion about how that relates um, or how or why we do certain things like why we do these exercises here, why these many reps, why this volume, why are we doing this this week, why we why we do this last week, and how it intermingles with each other. Um, Part of the series, or part of what I like to do with the series, is kind of talk you through how, one, so you can see how you might want to put a program together yourself, but also more so you see the actual ins and outs of actually putting together a program and actually what it looks like when you're implementing it towards a goal. Which is the case of this, the case of this vlog series, to be the dead of 320 kilos. Okay, so we'll just big screen this one. Okay, so we're on week four of the program. So here you'll have to see. This is basically the program in a in a diagram form. This is volume versus intensity. And what we'll do actually, or what I will do, sorry, because you won't be doing it, you'll just be watching me do it. I'll just take a look at um, the actual workout. So yes, um, you'll see here, this is the actual workout performed on session four on Friday. So this is, a, this is, an, actual, this is an actual representation of what the block looked like. If you go back to vlog number seven, that would be correct. If we go back to vlog number seven, you'll see what this graph actually looked like. And um, what I do is, because I, for various reasons, and and um, we'll we'll talk you through them right now, kind of chop and change things, and that changes changes how this uh, this diagram actually looks. It changes the actual flow of the program. And um, you'll see if you if you go to the website castironstrength.com and have a look at the the blog updates, you'll see on I think blog number two, the planned block one, which was a linear block, and the actual um, execution of block one, which was still a linear block, and I was successful linear block, ended in me achieving my goal. So you'll see here week four, which is now our, which is basically a peaking block. What we're trying to, what I'm trying to adopt here, and um, I'm trying to intermingle and um, the Borisuko style of training where. We try to base overload weeks on volume, as in total lifts, and we track average intensity over the sessions, over the three competitive lifts, and within each session, there's three variations of the power lifts, so that's normally organized as a lower body, upper body, lower body, and more times than not, it's like a squat, a bench, squat, deadlift, bench, squat, or bench, deadlift, bench, something like a variation of that nature. And I'm currently training with, um, what was it? Okay, apologies about that. Chrome just shot out as it has a tendency to do. So as we were discussing, there's essentially um, a, a modified Shiko routine where we take volume as the overload. We try to train with near enough sub-maximal percentages on the whole. And we utilize three lifts or three variations per workout. And as I said before, I was cut off. I'm utilizing a frequency of four at the minute, and we're going to discuss some possible changes um, to next week's uh, next week's B log to that frequency. Okay, so the plan workout or the plans <laughs> the plan workout the the plan week you see was as follows. Um, modifications we made to the week. Basically, session three got axed because at the end of this session, I was buggered, and this was a pretty huge session. Although it doesn't look like much on paper, and um, these were some pretty pretty big PVs. So session three uh, ended up not being followed through with. So let's go on and watch the videos and talk through the workouts themselves. And um, like we said before. Now we have these uh, these workouts on video. So 
This is workout one. Uh, pause squat, 180 for one set of three, 220 for a triple, and then 240 for two sets of two. This actually represented a 10 kilo personal best in my pause squat, which I was pretty happy with. Um, I wasn't uh, intrepid maybe going into the workout, but I was thinking this was a bit of a stretch. However, it ended up being incredibly easy, which is always nice. Close grip bench press, fairly straightforward workout, 120 for seven, 150 for six, 170 for two sets of three. And then back squat, uh, 220 for two. I was then planning on going 260 for a double and then taking a run at a PB and trying to do 280 for a double. However, on the 260, I cramped up, so I just ended up going single, single. So this is what it actually looked like. I'll put the sound on for this because um, it's kind of nice. That right there is Benny's ass. It's quite nice. Look at the um, look at the guitars. You'll get us close up here. Look at how that ass crack just kind of moves like that. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And um, maybe we'll just go back to the lift itself. These these are some of the dangers um, of working in a professional rugby setup. People do tend to get naked. So here we are, rep one. I'll turn that sound off. So I got a couple of comments saying this might be slightly high. Um, I think it's borderline. If you look here, you have the top of my thigh. Here you have the hip. If you're top of the thigh with the knee, then I guess, yeah, you're correct. Um, but I think that starts to become a bit tenuous when you start to get bigger legs. Um, crease the hip with the, with the top of the thigh. If that's the, um, if that's the marker, then this is parallel. I'd say some judges might give that. Anyway, we're not here to discuss that. Look how fucking easy that is. That was ridiculously easy. Number two, deeper. I'd say that's definitely competition depth. There's the there's the um, hip there. That crease of that line is my hip process. That's the thigh. That's pretty much a good lift. Some people might discuss it. It could probably sink it a little bit more if you're being pedantic. Um, but what I would say to that is, I've got, I've actually got a really good um, technique here. My lower, my back is in a good position. My hips are close to the bar. From the side, this would probably be fairly um, close over the center of my balance. I'd say it's a pretty nice lift, and then stand up with it, nice and easy. Skip past that one, ridiculous. Um, one seventy for three. On the old bencheroo, okay, not really much of a problem to be honest. Um, just cruising through that part of the workout. Here we go, two eighty for a Thai PB. Um, again, Jack took this on his iPhone, which is also, I think, a potato. So not the best video. Apologies. Again, probably around the same sort of depth as the. Um, 240s parallel maybe in if, if I was lucky um, and there's two last 260 from a much better angle so we can actually make out and a phone that isn't made out of uh, potato so we'll actually be able to make out the depth on this one I think the 280 was probably to about there so eh, it's probably a little bit high but definitely dip in on that 260 and it was fairly easy so Apart from the cramp, really, really happy with how the um, how this block in particular ended for the squat. Um, I think what I did for this block, as regards the squat program, worked fantastically as a peaking program. Um, although I'm not entirely sure that was the intention of the program, but it did work fantastically well. I felt I felt absolutely brilliant for those pause squats. I reckon if I went for two ninety, I would have got it on that day. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with the, that block in regards to squat goes, which is great because it's a deadlift focused program, so hopefully it's not having a negative effect on deadlift. Here we are, we 10 workout 2. Um, I don't think we got the workout on this now, we do. Here we are. Uh, this one was edited on the phone, so please excuse the lack of quality. Again, bench press, another tick the box workout. 
120 for serving, 150 for six, and then 170 for two sets of four. Deficit deadlift, 180 for a triple, 200 for a triple, and then 220, three by three. And then incline bench, as you'll know, we talked about previously, I've been nudging up the bench press, uh, or the incline bench press slowly, as it's a new variation of the program. Um, had been, the plan workout was four sets of six at 90. However, I was working in with a couple of other guys, couldn't really be bummed uh, going at 90 kilos. So I just did two sets of 12 to get it over and done with. As you'll appreciate, the weight's not very heavy for me. Um, it was more the trying to be easy on my shoulder, but I didn't really get any problems after this workout. So I think I might be able to crack on a little bit quicker with it. This is the 170 for four second set. Um, not really much to discuss on this. Really straightforward. Hope you like the sweaters. I'm trying to diversify my sweater range for the YouTubes, uh, and that kites looking glorious. I think I'll check it. It's pretty easy. Not really much to worry about there or discuss. As uh, bench is flying at the minute. And the, the, finally, the shot call finally comes into focus when I'm finished. And here we go to 23 from a deficit. And um, one small note on this deficit. You'll notice these are like these are like with 25s. Where the last time I would have done a video, if you were watching, I was lifting off an origin plate. These are these are thicker, not massively thicker, maybe a centimeter. But believe me, in a deficit, that centimeter makes a fucking huge difference. And that's what she said. What's what? She, ah, pronunciation. Fuck up the joke. That's what she said. As you'll see, these are fucking straightforward. Nice bar speed. I was actually really pleased with the bar speed on those. Um, considering with how they actually felt when I was executing them, they felt pretty naff, to be honest. Um, but watching them back, they were real quick and real easy. And that's the video for that workout. Um, again, pretty much a tick the box workout, like we have discussed previously. Like the Monday's kind of a big workout, the Tuesday and the Thursday are like tick the box workouts, and then the Friday is another big workout. So, something I'll preempt what we're going to discuss in uh, next week's. Episode I am contemplating just going Monday Wednesday and Friday and just having trying to have three bigger workouts Rather than two big workouts and two shit workouts or not shit workouts, but easier workouts I just feel like I can't really lift to the level I'd like on these kind of days and um, Which probably is a good thing in some aspects because I can maybe concentrate on less um, Complicated or less uh, less intensity and more uh, more like technical lifts such as like the pause deadlift and things like that um, but I'll have a think of a play around for the next block but I'm not, I'm not, there's not there was to take a couple of things away from this block it was that block deadlifts I don't know if I didn't really give them a fair go but every time I did do them my lower back kicked off like shit I don't really feel like they've added anything to my deadlift I don't think I don't feel like my deadlifts really progressed too much this block Although, as you'll see from the next workout, I did hit a pretty good volume PV. Um, but I don't feel the same sort of rate of progress I've been feeling with this kind of training. Um, so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure block deadlifts has been that great of an addition to the program. So, it is something that may be coming out. Oh, it's not, not something that may be coming out. It is something that's definitely coming out. And also, I'm thinking about going to a Monday, Wednesday, fr Friday split. With maybe a bigger, bigger workouts, or possibly even the AM PM split, which is something that I did on Friday. Okay, so this is Friday's workout. I um, didn't put it in the next little edited bundle. Um, I only got one deadlift from the AM workout and the PM workout. A couple of big videos that were pretty much were pretty good standalone videos, so I didn't really put them together into the normal sort of edited package. Um, so the actual workout itself in the morning, I did 270 for three sets of three. For that, I think it was like 220 for three. It was on the spreadsheet earlier if you want to check it out. And then after that, I did high bar squat. Basically just ramped up to 210 for a double and left it there because my back was fried after the deadlift. So after this, I did the PM workout was at about six o'clock. So this workout is about, is about eight in the morning. And the PM workout is about six in Aberdeen, up in Struby's Muscle Palace. Went up there to visit for the weekend, and and uh, lifted some huge bench PBs in the shaved plates, which was sweet. Some great crack. 
let's watch this video back then. So this is the first set. The first set was definitely the worst of the three. Um, set two was easy. Set three was fucking horribly difficult. However, I got through it. Um, but it was just it was just accumulation accumulation of fatigue over the three sets. Uh, this one was just this was all all wrong. This platform is varnished, so it's like slippy. So it deadlifted in socks. It's sliding about like like crap. You can't really see it. Um, it's only a little bit, but it made a difference. Um, and I, I had to, I put like something on, um, for the second third set, which helped a lot. I just had uh, one of the boys had his music playing in the background. The music was fine, but it's not really uh, what you need to get amped up for a heavy deadlift session. That being said, it's pretty run of the mill. Um, watching it back, it felt reasonably difficult, but I was never really in doubt of getting any of the reps. Uh, rep four of the third set was very very difficult. However, I completed it, so not really much of an issue there. And then the back squats were pretty much just to get some frequency in. Uh, they felt shite. I didn't take any videos of them. Okay, so this is in the Struby's muscle pile. So basically, I just ramped up two PB sets. I just wanted to see what I could do with 180, which was eight reps. So we'll watch that back just now. And line's pretty nice. Get a nice pop off the chest. Utilizing a lot more, uh, utilizing leg drive here, I'm going to say a lot more leg drive, but I'm not really utilizing leg drive in my setup at the minute. So actually utilizing leg drive here for the first time in a while. You'll notice on that last one I popped out of my chest and I had to rescue it. Uh, that, to be honest, after the seventh rep I thought there's not really much chance I'm going to get nine to ten here. So eight was good. So I kind of paused that eighth rep there. Uh, just to make it a wee bit more difficult. But I think... I definitely could can get that to ten reps. Not not that it's necessarily something that's really gonna help. Um strength wise. Uh one eighties like uh it definitely can be a training weight now, like a sets a sets weight uh, that I can use on a regular basis. Felt fairly straightforward. And then here's the big one. Two hundred for four. We'll let this play out. Because cracking stuff. And me trying to do my Ronnie Coleman impression. I have it practicing. It's always a great time lifting the muscle palace. Always a great time. Uh, this is Tom as well in the background here, We're giving us the spot of peace. And um, Tom's got a comp in. Uh, Wonderful Aberdeen results gym. So here we go. First one or two were real easy, but just I think partly fatigue, partly because it was pretty heavy. And um, rep three and four just died. And this is like the slowest rep I've ever done, but I was never in doubt of it going. Just kind of ratcheted it up there, so that ratchet pussy. And um, and I didn't actually get any pizza, which kind of sucked. And um, if you watch that back without the noise, or the banter, as it might be known. Um, go from here. Take it down. This is probably the best rep of the lot. Really blew that off the chest pretty nicely. See the line's pretty good. Um, I'll have to watch this setup. I maybe need to get my um, legs a bit wider to get the arse down. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the line being as it's, it's repeatable, it's strong, and with a bit more work on my arch, um, I'm pretty sure I can can get that up to five to six reps, pretty pretty handily over the next block. So yeah, so basically on the whole, PBs in at least a variation of every lift, outright PBs in squat and deadlift as regards volume and reps. So stronger in the last four weeks which you can't complain about and um, that 270 for three sets of four was again a goal workout for the 310 deadlift that was the 4rm deadlift it's actually five kilos heavier and um, it's actually more aligned with the 320 kilo deadlift but it's a higher volume goal so therefore probably a bit more tenuous as it regards accuracy so i'm going to try get two more of the goals in the next 
two to three weeks, and I'll maybe take a run at that 310 deadlift in the next month. Hopefully get that tight away before uh, May, which is fucking brilliant. And uh, early May would be fantastic. And then we can get that 320 in line. And then maybe actually start training with um, without straps and maybe try to put some of these lifts down on the platform in a powerlifting competition, which obviously would be a fantastic end goal. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, apologies for the, the late production of the video. It was down to me visiting Aberdeen, um, visiting, visiting Struan. So, and Tom. So, and Fizz. Hello, Fizz. Um, and Brian. What's up, Brian? Hope you're better, bro. <laughs> Brian's a cat. He's awesome cat. And Rick. And Kirstley, congratulations to your house. Congratulations on your first anniversary. If you're watching this, but I highly doubt you are. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the long and short of it. Down visiting folk. Didn't really, well, I had the time last night, but it wasn't really out of the inclination. So it's pretty late here. Um, it's like 12 to 12. <laughs> I've got work at like uh, 8 in the morning, so I really need to be getting off the bed here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Shoot us an email, speedpowerforms.com. Check out the website, speedpower, speedpowerforms. Uh, check out the website, it's Cast Iron Strength, uh, for my blog, and Cast Iron, our online strength coach, for slash podcast, for the online strength coach podcast, and online strengthcoach.com. If you want to check out the current hostel website, that is. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll check you in the next episode, which will probably be Monday again, because I'm away in London this weekend, and we'll probably will get a chance to shoot another video like this until the next week. Thank you very much for watching, have a good week, and uh, I'll check you in the next episode of Operation 700. Yeah, buddy!